The Green Party says New Zealand risks becoming an international laughing stock if it backs out of the emissions trading scheme. The new national-led government has put the scheme on hold while it reviews the science surrounding climate change. But the Greens say it leaves us sounding like a lone voice in the world. Demelza Leslie reports. The That's right. Risk it all. Risk it all today. Marking the global day of action on climate change, this group of demonstrators is putting a spin on the government's new stance. So why is it going to stop? That's right, if you do nothing, this is what happens. You get millions left homeless in poor countries. In Wellington, the Green Party hit one of the capital's busiest beaches to show its support to climate change action. It says the government is burying its head in the sand by deciding to review the emissions trading scheme. The science has been looked at repeatedly for decades. We now have a consensus that the science is right. Science that is backed in the release of a new movement, the New Zealand 350 Challenge, where the aim is to reduce the levels of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere. We're currently at 387 parts per million and sort of going up at two parts per million each year. And um, if we continue on the projected trend of business as usual, we're heading for an ice-free planet. Today's climate change action coincides with a meeting in Poland, where delegates from more than 190 countries are discussing a new deal to limit greenhouse gas emissions. It's to replace the Kyoto Protocol, which expires in 2012. The Greens say New Zealand needs to be on board with any new deal reached. New Zealand's going to be the only outlier in the developed world. And that is such a position of embarrassment. It is, it is such an embarrassment and it's such a damage to our markets and to our image and to our reputation. And they say it puts New Zealand at risk of playing Russian roulette with its climate. Demelza Leslie, 3